it's a bad hair day. Well, it's not even a bad hair day, I just washed my hair. And it's all fluffy and shit, so. This hat? Go for pimp? With the Kangol? Oh, look at this. Ooh, I think I like both. I do like this one, but I'm gonna keep this one just for. Uh... What is that on your head? <laughs> Yo, what up? What's good, Dicker? My name is Serge, and today we are back with another video. Man, it feels great to be standing up again. I haven't filmed a video standing up in a few months now. It's a new year, so I want to say a happy new year to you guys. Hope you guys had an incredible time with your loved one, with your friends, um, or if you were alone, then hope it was still great, or as great as it can be. I'm sure FaceTime, Zoom, or, or something. <laughs> I do this on a yearly basis, as soon as the year ends, or the year begins, I should say, sorry. I sort of go through my wardrobe and see what can go. One of the questions I get asked a ton is, you know, how do I decide what piece to keep, what piece to sell, which to me sounds fairly straightforward and, and self-explanatory, but I figured, you know what, I might as well answer it in a video. And it kind of keeps or allows me to keep the wardrobe somewhat in check. So I don't know how this video is gonna go, but I kind of wanna share with you the pieces that I'm gonna be letting go, why I'm letting them go, what I'm keeping, da 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 Hope that makes sense. Now I like to start off with outerwear just because it's easier for me to, should I switch onto my phone at this point? Maybe, give me a second, let's just go with this. Okay, so I figured this makes more sense, but this is the line of outerwear that I was talking about, all on one rail. Um, some of them are over here actually, but the ones that I can fit are going to be here. And there's definitely some pieces that I can let go of. I know that this is way too much for most, but due to my line of work, it is what it is. Okay, Rick Owens puffers, black. It's too much of a sick piece for me to let go right now. Some might say somewhat iconic. Got this recently, so no, I'm not getting rid of that. Black overcoat, can't go wrong. Bit of a standout piece, but I've just bought it, so no. Just bought this, so also no. The vintage Sherling jacket, too much of a beast. And that Ami overcoat, again, too much of a beast. And <laughs> this is going to be a recurring theme. Well, I'm drinking black, too much of a beast. I haven't worn this coat realistically in a year, but I just know that it's special and I'm not going to be able to get something like that ever again. So that's why I hold on to this piece. Eh, forever in the wardrobe, forever in the wardrobe. Again, Hyder. So that's a no. Now this from Lueve, beautiful duffel coat with this incredible print. This was done in collaboration with a Dutch, or was it a British artist, one of the two? And super limited, but again, since I've bought this, I have not worn it a single time. And I thought to myself, yeah, it's loud, it could be like a fashion week piece or just whatever, but like, nah, I ain't about to buy a piece or to keep and hold onto a piece and, and you know, fucking take space on this rail if I can get rid of it. So this is the one, at least for now. I'm for sure gonna get rid of beautiful jacket. It's time to say bye. A8 Spectrum Beast Vintage Unsound Rag Carhartt. Too good. Gucci. Gucci. Again, grails of mine. So no, the money. Now again, another coat that I've sort of debating getting rid of. I'm kind of on the fence about this one. This is the Prada. I want to say Autumn Winter 18 with the sort of waxed leather black leather it's not leather i don't even know what this is but it has some sort of finishing that can be found at the bottom of the sleeve and at the bottom of the jacket beautiful piece man it looks so good look at the colors kind of similar so when i would go to wear this i would just go for my own coat perhaps it's time to say goodbye hider never bottega too good hider Hider. This one you haven't actually seen, but yeah. So that, SLP, grail, no way am I getting rid of that. The Loewe leather, again, too good. And then the two LV jackets. So, shall I go back to the, yeah, let's go back there. Okay, so out of the outerwears, three. That's a total lie, there's another outerwear that I need to show you, but the outerwears that I'm for sure gonna get rid of, this bad boy right here, red and yellow varsity jacket, just says Columbus. Waterson in the back with this beautiful eagle. Lovely, just 
meh, it's time for, for me. It's time for a new, a new beginning for this. Now, a question that I get asked a lot again is where do I put my stuff up for sale? Normally, it's on my Instagram story. I leave it there for 24 hours. If anybody snatches it up, great. If not, go on Grailed. Obviously on Grailed, you bump up the price because um, I tend to let things go for fairly cheap on Instagram. But if it's Grailed, it's people that I don't know. So there's no need to be nice. Especially if I can make me money. So, Prado overcoat. Banger. I don't know if I should let this one go, it's so good. But, yeah, I think it's time. We have this absolutely beautiful Loewe duffel coat with the crazy print that was done in collaboration with an artist. So good, such a beautiful piece, but I just, just don't wear it. So what's the point? But this is the jacket, and I pulled out another one because my thought process a lot of the time is, is it something that I already own? And the idea for me in order to create the best wardrobe in quotation marks is to have the best piece in each category, if that makes sense. And I feel like these two fall under the same box. And out of the two, I would gravitate towards a cray green piece. For that reason, it's time to let this bad boy go away. I'd rather get one of the one of one pieces from Bodhi that she puts up on her website or that you'd have to get in store to get. What else, what else, what else? Shoes, I think, yeah. From the box, you guys would know what this is. Or well, I hope you, maybe, maybe not. But these are the J's, the Mockers, basically. I love them, man. I think they're such a good colorway. Literally, barely, if ever, worn these out, really. Like, I've definitely tried them on, and you can see that on the sole. But, basically brand new. And the re I don't know, I just don't wear them. I just never worn them. And I bought them and I thought, yeah, 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 I really like them. Actually, no, the reasoning why I bought them was because I wanted the Travis Scott Jordans. Obviously, too broke for them. So I got the cheap alternative, and the cheap alternatives don't hit the same. It is what it is, you know, you gotta, you gotta make room. Why do I just take it out? You gotta make room for new pieces to come in. And to be honest with you, I'm at a stage now where I'm really genuinely happy with where my wardrobe is. Like I don't feel the need to go and purchase more pieces. And obviously having my own brand, I have the ability to actually make my own pieces. So if there's something that I want in my wardrobe, I try and make it. Another thing that I'm just, if you see me kind of just looking away or everywhere, is to kind of see what pieces can I get rid of. This piece right here, which is special to me because it's from Haider Ackerman, and as you know, and as I said earlier, when it comes to Haider, I don't like to sell those pieces because, I don't know, I think the thought process is I told myself many moons ago that I wanted to have the best Haider collection, and in order to do so, I've got this false idea that I need to have every single piece, especially now that it seems as though he's no longer gonna be designing, at least for his own line. But we have this blazer, or slash jacket, from, Spring summer 15, I think? One of the really early seasons, as you can see from the beautiful use of these patterns. Really nice, size XL and genuinely fits like a SM. Like I still fit it. It's really snug, so I can't get away with it, but I don't want to. Plus it's got two buttons missing, which was the way that it was sold to me. It looks like I'm gonna be letting this go prior to me even getting said replacement buttons. And you know, again, it's another piece that I've never worn. There are many pieces in my wardrobe that I haven't had the opportunity yet to wear, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm gonna be getting rid of them. This is special to me because I remember going into Gucci in LA and I told myself one day I'm gonna own this piece because this retailed at 5K back then, or 4.5, or something ridiculous and I was able to get it for such a steal. So I'm never gonna get rid of that piece, you know? So look for those special bonds. Now I know that this sounds crazy materialistic and I'm not trying to say like, you've got to have this crazy, deep, meaningful bond. At the end of the day, they're just clothes. But I feel like I'm answering the questions that I get asked with regards to how do you decide what you're gonna sell and what you're gonna keep. Yeah, no? yeah I think the next sort of couple of it might be like me just showing you the pieces I've already put to the side that I know for sure that I'm gonna be selling. How about that? Should we do that? Big orange box, LV. Virgil's first ever LV collection. 
and they had these utility bags and I managed to grab my hands on the white one which is so bright you can barely see it but it's got the LV monogram logo everywhere it looks kind of fire with this should I sell this or hold on to this with this hoodie though what's up Louis Vuitton pair of sunnies yeah see three millionaires so clean but I just don't think they look that good on my face correct me if I'm wrong okay definitely not with this hair but I just yeah I think they're too I think they're too showy man every time I'm throwing something on in this camera it looks kind of not too shabby but yeah I think they're not me next up we have this experimental thing that I did where I cut off my needles orge sweatpants as you can see from here turn them into shorts what a shitty wanky idea that was regret that massively Prada bucket hat fits too snug on my head basically this is a size medium I definitely should have gone with a large for the shape of the Kangol bucket hats it's more subtle less in your face less roadman and kind of achieves the same look so that is that from the bucket hats and then this crazy fucking piece the sort of full body jumpsuits now not the ones that has the extra pockets and the zip not the Bauhaus jumpsuit basically but the other kind still brand new with tags just never had the opportunity to wear it Ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm not going to show you everything, obviously, because the aim of the game is to get rid of 40 to 50 pieces across trousers, jumpers, knits, sweatshirts, blazers, you name it, and then try and clear up some space for the following year, should I wish to cop anything, or just not cop and be happy with where I'm at. So with that being said, that is my 2022 wardrobe clear out. Ironically, you're now going to be loaded with three or four different pieces that I purchased recently. Okay, it's arrived. I don't know why I just zoomed into my address detailing, but it's arrived. I'm not going to lie. I was way too impatient. I got it last night. And I couldn't wait. And I'm glad I didn't actually because unfortunately, there are two variations of this jacket. A women's wear version and a men's wear. I thought, or at least from the pictures on the website, I thought maybe they were just photographed wrong and they might be the same unisex piece, but there's definitely a difference. I'm gonna show you on a proper camera how this looks. It's beautiful, but it's not quite the version that I want. This is what the jacket looks like, right? Now, I know it's super cropped. That's kind of the point of it. And that's why I gravitated towards it. It's called the Geth Cropped Bomber Jacket in the black variation. Now you might have seen multiple variations that have different colors. And this is what the women's wear version looks like, man. Now, as far as my understanding goes, the men's wear version has a bit more of a puffer-like material here. Quite reminiscent of the other Rick Owens puffer jackets that I have, but not as soft. I tried it in DSM. I fell in love with the fabric. I don't know what they did to that puffer part of the body, 
but it just felt so good and just so soft, but not as soft. Therefore, it felt a bit more substantial. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, this is the jacket. You still have the Rick Owens uh, safety tag, which I can't remove because I'm remo returning the jacket. All the tags, I got this in a size 40, so it is definitely my size and it fits. But unfortunately, it's not the variation that I want. But I love it, man. I mean, the cut itself is so sick. And the detailing that can be found, you know, here. Then you've got this shape that pokes out. Elongated, exaggerate, not elongated, exaggerated shoulders, cropped. Woo! Just a fire fucking piece. But not the variation that we were after, so see you later. The, that I want the other pickup that I got also on the same day are these bangers, boys. Balenciaga rubber trooper boots. This has been my first Balenciaga purchase in a while. I kind of fell off the, the train, willingly, just because I wasn't too keen on everything that they were producing. But these, I saw them and I was like, yeah, this is just next level. So, so good. Made of rubber, very, you know, stable. I've heard that they scratch and get dirty very easily. So I'm gonna put this to the test. I'm actually wearing them today. I went down a size to a size 40 just because they are absolutely huge. One of my pet peeves in footwear is always this huge leg opening, which I'm still not very keen on. And I wish this was a bit snugger, but it is what it is. I can't make any changes about it. One of the things that is worth noting though, so I went down a size. I didn't really get a chance to try on the 41. I just knew that with this boot, the size of it, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do it with a 40. And it fits me fine in the length. However, this point, because the angling of the boot is so sharp, you'll definitely feel it here. So it's snug on my foot, on both, on both feet. I'm hoping that with wear, that will eventually soften and loosen up. Ooh, this is cool. Can you, I'm gonna see if you can pick that out. So you just have some sizing information. Balenciaga Trooper EU40 made in Italy. Lovely, jobless. But man, so, so good. Okay, this is the fit for groceries and then we're gonna try and get a fit pick out of it. Got the new sweater and it's coming out in the end of Jan. We've got the glasses from Jade Black, the coat from Acne Studios, the leather trousers, which are vintage from Lithuania. And then we have the Valencies. I'm on my Minecraft shit, let's go. One hour later! Okay, I just got back home and you all weren't kidding when he said these bruises and gets marked super, super easily. God damn! I mean, it makes it look cool. But god damn! I've been out for like 30 minutes, 40, you're fat. And then, last but certainly not the least, the brother. I'm so proud of these guys, man. They, this wasn't even actually sent to me. He didn't even know I placed the order, but I wanted to support the boy. And, you know, I've been after a good pair of hiking boots and they released just that and I was not to be disappointed. Bloody this hair, forget it. I was not to be disappointed. So we have the Running X Solibear collaboration. I've got them with the orange laces. I decided to go with the orange laces just because Although I'm not usually a big fan of colored laces on black boots or black shoes, I should say. I don't know, with this pair, it just looks absolutely awesome. So we have their hiking boots. Sizing, quite interesting. So it says on the website that they fit half a size big. I personally would go as fast to say that they might fit a whole size big. However, it does come with a really thick sort of comfortable insole which I've chucked in, that makes the sizing a lot easier. I stayed true to size with a size at UK7, and they fit quite nicely. Solivare, British made. You guys have seen in my previous videos, whenever there's any shoes that are made in Northampton especially, um, the likes of Churches, Crockett Jones, John Lobb, Solivare, the level of quality is just next level when it comes to footwear. Like yes, you have your fashionable brands like the Balenciaga shoe that I just showed. They're great shoes for fashion serving purposes, but these brands, the likes that I've just listed, they just take shoe making to a whole new level and they come up with some really beautiful and well-made pieces.
So I was very, very surprised with the level of support and comfort that these shoes came straight out of the box. Normally with British shoemakers, there is like a breaking period where they do make your legs or your feet hurt. But with this, I haven't had that super soft running. Absolutely killed it. Only a few sizes left currently on the website. However, a little birdie told me that there might be a restock next year. So keep your eyes peeled for that. This is the final pair of footwear. Come on, thank you. This is the final pair of footwear that I got. Yeah, the Balenciagas, this, and the Rick Owens jacket all on the same day. Rick Owens jacket is getting returned. These two are deaths keeping to the collection. So, voila. And that was that for today's video. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you wish to follow me on my social media, it's all right here in this corner, S-A-N-G-I-E-V. Hopefully, now that the wardrobe and the room is a bit more cleared, I'm gonna be able to put my camera and resume to the usual sort of rail. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up or a like because it helps me out tremendously. Like genuinely, it helps me out crazy amounts. So thank you. Share, subscribe, do all that other jazz. Have a beautiful day. Take care.